Okay, we are in the kitchen doing something very fall-like today. Yeah. We are. Are we excited? Yes, and, and a little bit intimidated by the squash. Are we gonna, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> overcome our fears today, everyone. It is very convenient to buy butternut, butternut squash, squash in the refrigerator section already cubed. Yep. Don't get me wrong, I do it a lot of the time, but it is a lot more expensive to do it that way. Okay. Quite a bit more expensive. But a lot of us are afraid of this because it is very hard mm -hmm. to cut. And people with your knife, it gets slippy, you lose a finger, blah, blah, blah. You go to the hospital. <laughs> Curl and just you know, really no, has this. Not much of an appetite after that. Yeah, yeah exactly. No soup. So I'm gonna show you a trick on how to make this very easy to work with. So what you've seen here is I've gone through and I've pricked it with a fork all over. Mm -hmm. See that? Oh, yep. You're uh -huh. busting up the structural integrity. Yes. With because, a fork. Okay. Yep. So then what Makes we're gonna sense. do is we're gonna stick it in the microwave okay. for one this big, I do for four to five minutes. Okay. You're not wanting to cook it. You're just yeah. wanting it to kind of yeah, be less it. firm mm -hmm. and easier for us to cut through. So Carl, how we cut a butternut squash to make it more manageable is yeah. you're gonna cut the end off. Okay. It's still firm, but mm -hmm. it's much but, easier. Yeah. And then, Good job. All right, and then I'm, we're up top like that, or, or uh -huh. we cut that guy off first? You can cut the top off. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this is a lot easier, because usually it is like a... See, and look, you <laughs> can kind of see, it's usually that, that lighter yellow okay. color, which makes it so hard. Yeah. So cut down the best you can. Okay. So and you're still gonna have to do a little bit of sawing, but so usually... a little nervous. You're doing it though. Yeah. You're doing awesome, Carl, because he's always like, Karen, I'm so scared when you do butternut squash. Whew. Whew. But see how it's Fingers so much attached. darker? And that means it was kind of kind of par cooking a smidge. That was softening. your microwave bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your spoon and we'll clean it out. Mm -hmm. And then what you're gonna do is at this point, you can use a, you're gonna have to get a really good uh, peeler, like a potato peeler. Okay. I don't really do it that way. I'll just take my knife. Can you just kind of lose some of the squash? And... Yeah, I'm, I'm not afraid to just lose a bit of squash. And so what I do is I just, that's why you cut both ends off, mm -hmm. watch that. It's because kind of like you do a pineapple. You just take this knife down the side mm -hmm. like that. It still seems like a lot yeah. of work, right? It's not really that much. How, how much is it for cube squash? You guys <laughs> make it look easy. I know, you're not getting it. You get to help show. with the next one, Kitty No, cat. it's fine. Yeah, I like so we learning. Just cut, but that's so much easier. Usually you're sawing, sawing, mm -hmm. sawing. It's hard. But to buy butternut squash in a package for about two cups, it can be upwards of $4. Okay. So this costs uh, $3, and I'm going to get... This is gonna supply our soup in the next segment, which would normally cost about six, seven bucks in packaging. Okay. Yeah. We're saving okay. a few. We're saving yeah. some yeah. money. If you're feeding yeah. a lot of people, it all adds up. Uh -huh, Absolutely. Sure. Okay, and we're gonna make that soup in our next segment with you, Sass. So here we go. All right.